Hey everybody. Uh, today I'm doing the ear, a uh, uh, quick, quick tutorial on the ear. Um, super weird shape, right? But I think to make it easier for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in a quadrant. Um, then I'm gonna throw this in a quadrant. Uh, I'm gonna start looking at the quadrant and right away I'm gonna put in the shapes. So again, uh, very easy to want to make everything have a harsh outline. The outline here is actually the value. The value is what's making a line. It isn't a cartoon outline that's making the line. It's the line. So when this goes into shadow and that's a lighter value, it makes a line. This line is actually shadow. So it's not like a hard, it's not like a hard cartoon line. That's the thing is some of this stuff is super hard. So I'm just making these guidelines, but they're not lines. That's the thing. They're not lines, they're guidelines. Ears are super weird because they just are these weird, somewhat abstract things. But we are gonna use a paper blender to kind of get everything mapped out. And I'm gonna talk about shading here. I'm gonna start adding some value. Um, there's value here, there's value here, right here. And it fades out in a value scale. And then this comes down. This comes down and over. This comes down. This comes up and over. Interesting, this is all in a value. Just valuing it. Again, I'm using a photo reference um, because for me, looking at something, looking at a live ear or a picture of an ear is more helpful to get more accurate. When I just make stuff up without any referencing, that can land me into some trouble. Like I always have something to kind of refer to. I think that that helps me like really see what's going on. So here I am, I'm gonna fade this up. So I've got like a basic thing in there. I'm gonna get my little cone that I made and I'm gonna blend this out just like that. Just gonna blend it out. Um, and what I'm gonna do is after I'm done blending, I'm gonna come back with my eraser. That's the thing, remember I said, always come back after you blend. It's really easy to just blend and leave it, but that's not necessarily the right way to do it. So I've got this basic shape of my ear. I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna use my eraser as a drawing tool. I'm gonna to push back some of my blending so that it makes more sense. Some of my blending here, there's a little bit of highlight there, a little bit there. There's like a white, bright light here there is right there, right there. This has right there.
So my eye, so my ear, I've got this basic sense of my ear and I can just keep fiddling with it. Um, there are areas that are crisper. Um, so I'm gonna take my 6B, like there's a crisp where the hair is on my photo reference. There's a crispness. And so I'm just gonna put that in really quickly. I think that for the photo reference, I think it really helps to like get your values correct. So here's a dark there. But you know, the ear is pretty soft. Like it doesn't have a lot of hard, like when I look at, especially this picture, there isn't a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy lines. So I'm just gonna put in some of this value here and probably call it good. Cause we're just looking at the features and like how they're structured and how the light hits them. And then we're going to go on to the face. But this week was just a variety week where you could do an ear, the teeth, kind of. Okay. Pretty good. All right, you guys, I'm probably going to call it here and um, jump off the video. And if you tackle this, I'll have the photo reference there for you. But yeah, here's the ear. And I could keep putzing and keep putzing and keep putzing, but I think you got the general idea.